Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for back app and in today's video I'm going to show you how to integrate GraphQL with a Swift project uh, using the GraphQL iOS client. The website for, Graph for Apollo GraphQL is this apollographql.com but we will be adding it to our project with CocoaPods. If you come to cocoapods.org and scroll down you can see how to install it here and we also need the npm from npmjs.com that you can install it from here uh, here I have my application that has a user class uh, with a user that we will be retrieving if you want to read all this information I'll show you on the video you can come here to help guides and here on the left side you see the use GraphQL with Swift and there are all the steps that you have to do here so first thing that I'll have to do is open my Xcode and create a new Swift project so create a new Xcode project I'm going to choose a single view app and give it a good name so my GraphQL app make sure the language is Swift and I'm going to save it on my desktop There we go. For now, I'm going to close this project because I have to operate into it for a little bit. So, if I go to my Finder and Desktop, you will see I have my GraphQL app in here with my Xcode uh, project in there. And this is what we call our target, target folder. Inside, we'll have all the folders for this project. And we, we will need this information further on. So, I'm just going to my terminal and go to my desktop oh, I'm already in there and going to enter this folder here my GraphQL app and inside the file the folder that has my Xcode project I'm going to type pod in it after installing the cocoa pods this will create this new file here called pod file that I'm going to edit and I'm going to choose my Visual Studio for this so in here I have to list the pods that I want to install I'm just installing the Apollo so pod Apollo and save it and if I go back to my console, you'll see my pod files in there. So I'm going to type pod install. Oops. This will download and install the Apollo client for me. So if I go back to my folder, you will see now here I have my pods folder and a XE workspace file. This is the file that will be opening on the Xcode from now on. So open this. You see I have my GraphQL app target in there, also my pods target in there. If I open this, you see I have all my files in there so I can work. Next thing that we have to do is we have to retrieve the schemas for my classes to use in the project. There are two ways we can do that. We can come here on the API console and GraphQL console and here on schema click download and download that file this will bring the file manually so every time uh, I change something on my application I will have to to re-download and put that file back in there so I'm going to also ins uh, download it automatically with Apollo in order to do that I have to have Apollo installed we type use uh, npm for that so you install by typing npm install minus G Apollo I already have it installed so I don't need to do it but uh, you will have if you don't and once you have Apollo install, installed uh, remember when I said this is my project uh, file and my project folder and this is my target folder that fo file must be inside this folder so 
I'm already in this folder on my console so I'm going to enter this folder here there you go you know that this is the correct folder because it has my app delegate.swift file in there and from my guide on our website there is a command that you can copy and paste that will retrieve that uh, schema file for you all you have to do to do is change your app ID and your master key so I'm going to paste it that in here and change my app ID we can retrieve that from our server settings and core settings there you go and also my master key remember you should not share your master key with anyone because the person who has the master key has full access to the application just run this okay so my schema json file is in there already there you go and now we need a GraphQL uh, file containing at least one query or one mutation so Swift and Apollo can create the API file for me so I'm going back here to my core in API console and GraphQL console and I'm going to type a very basic query here so we can test it and use it in there so query and I have to give this query a name Apollo will only work if I give the queries a name so I'm going to call it find all users then objects and find user and I'm going to get my results and from my results I want the username if I just run this it will retrieve that user that I have on my user class so I know this is working I'm going to copy this I'm going to use Visual Studio to save this file but you could use Xcode if you want I'm going to save this this should be on the same folder that uh, the schema json file is so I'm going to type this queries dot graphql and save it and we won't be using Visual Studio anymore so now that I have my schema file and my GraphQL file in there uh, I, I need to have a step on Xcode that will build my API uh, Swift file for me we do that by clicking the targeting here and build phases and add a new run script phase I'm going to rename this to GraphQL step and we have to drag and drop over the compile sources because this has to happen before you compile your sources I'm going to open this and back to our guide if you scroll down a little bit I have put the script that you will be need here this will just uh, generate uh, based on your GraphQL file and the schema JSON file your API Swift file so I can just copy it and paste it in here and that's pretty much all we have to do so I'm going to close this and go back to my app delegate and now what we can do uh, is compile and see if my API file will be generated so we know everything is working so I'm going to type command B so it will build now if I go to my folder I should have my API Swift file in there so we know it worked now I have to drag and drop this file and into my target make sure the copy items if needed is unchecked because the file is already there so finish and now we are ready to use our uh, queries into our Swift project so I'm going to go to my viewcontroller.swift and import Apollo and now I have to configure the client and call the code from there so I'm going to 
back to our guide and in here I'm going to scroll down and I have all the configuration in here all you have to change your app ID and your client key I'm to copy this and go back to our Xcode and paste that in here so I'm going to need my app ID and uh, key again I'm going to retrieve that from our website you can also get it from here so this is my application ID and this, I'm going to be using my client key from here so let me see if I have it there I do so copy and paste it and now here inside my view did load I am going to paste the second part of my code that only calls the final user's query and that's pretty much all that we have to do so I'm going to run this on my simulator This is just my firewall. And as you can see, my result was retrieved in there. So this was a very simple uh, video just showing you how to integrate it and use it on your project. We will have further videos showing deeper uh, into GraphQL with Swift soon. I hope you enjoyed.